Hi, I'm Tanya Wilhelm and this is Dexter and thank you for joining us again today. And if you're new, thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can click the bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Today what I wanted to talk about is how to give your Cavalier a treat without him jumping. So look, just me squatting down here and Dexter is tall. Look how far away he is from me. So it's not uncommon for our small breed dogs to want to come up and collect that food reward. So I want to teach you how to help them and get that food to them and what to do when they're trying to collect. So I'm going to stand up. You're not going to see me. You're only going to see the star Dexter. So look, there's his head and here's my hand. And Dexter's tall. Remember, he's a 27, 30 pound Cavalier who's really a tall boy. So look, right? Look at my Cavalier compared to your Cavalier. But what's important is when I go to feed Dexter, I want to be able to hand it to him at his nose level. And the best thing to do is shoot for below the chin. So shoot for down here, down below that chin. So you ready? Easy. I'm going for below the chin, which makes him kind of duck low. So below the chin or even the chest, shoot for your food delivery. If I try to feed high, he's going to try to jump up to get it. Whether he's trying to get the food or he thinks I'm trying to do a sit pretty behavior. But when you feed too high, they tend to jump up. Now, if you go to give your dog a treat and he does start to try to collect, what you're going to do is you're going to cancel that food treat. So if I'm trying to give Dexter a treat and he jumps up, I'm going to bring my hand up and collect it and wait for him to get four on the floor. And I'm going to try to present it again. And if he keeps four on the floor, I'm going to give him the treat. So as long as four are on the floor, he's going to get the treat. If he jumps up to collect, I'm going to swipe that treat back up to my chest and wait for him to get four on the floor. Now Dexter doesn't do that often for me because he's in that training mode. He knows, oh, mom's training, mom's giving me food. I better keep that four on the floor. If it's really hard for you to get low to your dog, the other thing you can do is go find it and drop it and let them get it. Find it. This is where snoods come in. So if it's hard for me to get down, I'm going to go find it. That find it indicates that there's something for him to look, to find, to sniff, or eat. Find it versus I'll leave it. Remember, consistency is key. If you want your dog to learn not to collect a food reward, then we need to be consistent. Every time you reach down to give him a food snack or anything else and he jumps up to get it, you cancel and bring it back up and wait for the four on the floor or an alternate behavior. When that alternate behavior happens, then they go to get the reward. If they jump up at that second time to get the reward, again, you just swipe it up. You repeat. You can't get it until you keep four on the floor. As long as your four is on the floor, then you get it. If you're in the middle of training your Cavalier, you want to make sure that you reward right then. So if your dog is still doing that jumping up behavior, then toss the food on the floor. So say find it and toss it and let them get it. Because we don't want to get into that scenario where I want to reward the behavior quickly, but I don't want to reward the jumping up because that's two things that you're trying to work on. So you want to work on one at a time. So if we're teaching that cue and that behavior, they need to get that delivery right away. So food on the floor. If you can be fast, open palm and low or food on the floor. You want to practice not collecting all by itself. So teaching them not to jump up for something is its own training behavior. That's what you're training. It's important to remember that if you're trying to teach your dog something, you need to teach your dog something. You need to actually take that time and teach them that task and that task alone. So if collecting is an issue, then that's your training session. Collecting, nothing else. Having that reward in your hand and practicing not collecting and doing that often. You can do that daily with part of their food. So whether it's dry kibble, which can be demonstrated just like that, if it's raw food, then you can actually take a spoon and do the same collection. So I'm going to go whoop, and try to collect. 
So hopefully you enjoyed that quick tip. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click that bell icon, you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. If you're a Cavalier family, don't forget to check out my private Facebook group. That link's below. And if you want to support our channel or dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, you can check out our private Patreon group. That link's below too. So remember to pause and enjoy life, and we'll see you in the next video.